Okay, uh, hello. Hello. Um, today, I am going to be teaching you, or showing you, how to make a drag So, I'm gonna need glue, just any type. I'm gonna just glue a stick, a bottle, pencil. You don't need two pairs of scissors, but you do need scissors. Tape, I couldn't find any other tape, and paper. So, first thing, you're gonna take one sheet of paper. And then you're gonna wanna fold, fold it however, like how however thick you want it like that. And then roll it again, you're gonna roll it all the way back. So it becomes like one long noodle. You have some excess or if you want to fold it again. Yeah. And you can take your glue, open it, screw it, like that. And then you're gonna want to glue this. Some people do it some people do these with just only tape, but if you want that cleaner, nicer look, you're gonna wanna use glue. And fold it again and press it down. I feel like if you're doing on a like a fine like a nice table like this, then you want the actual stick. But if you're working on like your art table and there's a whole bunch of glue and paint and stuff on it, then you can use the. Because if you put too much, it's just gonna kind of squirt out. So there you go. And I want to make. Uh, you're gonna want to make two of these. So uh, let me just. So now we have two. If like the sides are kind of like coming up, then you could just put some tape on them. Like I said, I couldn't find any regular tape, so I'm gonna have to use duct tape. Yeah. Just a small amount. Don't need anything big. Just tape right there. This is optional. This makes it more supportive and it doesn't come apart as easily. So. And you can see it's already coming apart. Right? Even when I put the glue on. <clears throat> if you do have tape on here, you're just going to want to fold it. Uh, like like this, so the outside isn't doesn't like so you don't have the out inside outside have the tape on it. So if you're gonna want to fold it like that, and most likely there's gonna be some extra at the top because everything's not perfect. So you're gonna want to take your scissors and cut it. For me, even when I try. To make them even, like when when each one is too long, it's this part that always gets me. It always just yeah. So that's what I do. You don't have to do this to that. This might make someone mad, but I don't really care. It's so it's how I make them. So it's how I make. Them. Not doesn't matter how they make them or yeah. So. We have either the top jaw or the bottom jaw, doesn't matter. This one's perfectly fine. Just for good measure measures, I'm gonna add some tape. When you're doing this part, I recommend using clear tape. I'm gonna say this again, I couldn't find any regular tape. So that's why I'm using duct tape.
my friend's dra dragon puppets covered in this black tape. This kind of black tape. Okay. So, one minute. So now fold it. Okay. So now we have both top and bottom jaw. And then so now we're gonna decide which one's the top and which one's the bottom. So this is gonna be my um so I'm gonna say yeah this one's my bottom gel and then you're gonna wanna line them together like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a slight little cut to make the bottom jaw smaller than the top jaw. It's going to make it look better, as you can see. Yeah. Okay. This is how I like to do this part. Like, a lot of people do it in different ways. They just do this, and they make it one by one. But for my trick, if you wanted to, if you wanted to go fast, then you could just Hold the paper evenly. Flat. There we go. And then you're gonna wanna take it horizontally like this, or however you want. It could be this way if it's a shorter base like this one, but if it's a long base or I just ran it, I just regularly do this, just do this. And so you're going to want to make it so it fits your thumb, but it doesn't cram your thumb in there like that, like this, like that. You don't, that's going to be uncomfortable for your thumb. So I will leave some room like that much, that'll be good. And then, if not, I am, my hair is kind of in the way. I'm going to want to trace it. That doesn't have to be the best. Yeah. I'm probably gonna make a part two because my phone percentage is at 10%. So if this video randomly ends, that's why, because the phone died. And then you're gonna wanna make a little flap here around it. that and then you take your scissors you want to cut the around the flap of this part of the flap that you made okay so now we have two for the, for the top part the top part and the bottom the, bottom part of it. Some people don't make the bottom part. I did it on the remake of Shroom because it's easier. But for now we're gonna make top and the bottom. So we're gonna fold the flap where we marked just like that. And then we're gonna Hold again on the other side. We're gonna want to like make them fold over each other like that. And if there's like some extra, you can just cut it in the shape. But 
tip. <clears throat> and you're gonna take your glue, and then you're gonna wanna glue your flaps. Look at that. Glue for them. And then you're gonna take a little base, and then stick it. And then it might take a couple tries to get it to like, welly stick there. Sometimes I use tape on this part too, just to reinforce the uh, just. I'm kind of afraid that the by the time I'm like, it's just gonna end at any moment because it is gonna. If it randomly ends, it's just the battery percentage. Is that 10%? percent Yeah, there you go. That's the top part. It's not always a hole there, but... So, that's... I'm gonna make this the bottom part, actually. Top part, I'm just gonna... Even though it doesn't have lines, you just do the same thing as before. You just hold it wherever you like. However, what you think, how much you should hold. Okay, so, there you go. Do it again. For this one, since it's smaller inside, when you want to tape it, you're going to want to cut them into thin strips and tape it. There you go. This side. There we go. Now you got your bottom jaw. <clears throat> I'm probably going to end it here once I tape this more. Here. And then, okay. There's your bottom jaw. Okay, I'm gonna make a part two because they're never films. Not a part two, I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make it after the phone's charged. So yeah. So it's the bottom jaw and yeah. Let's get into the Okay, welcome back. Okay, so now I'm going to make the top jaw. Do I have chopsticks? Want a bite? My pencil she sushi? I'm kidding. Anyways, so we're going to do the same thing. Right in my face. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, hold it. Oh, it uh, okay. So now you're just gonna wanna trace it so it fits your hand like that, but just squeeze it just a tiny bit. And 
to the video from Bert Trace. Now we're going to make a slap. Four. Make use of through this. So, first same thing that I did before because you just basically do the same thing. So, yeah. Okay, so now I have the top jaw. They're really loose, so you want to take your tape. You want to take a pretty good size piece. So we're gonna cut it off, flip it off. See how little scotch tape. Okay. Like this, if you have duct tape, like me, split it into two, or cut it in, take a big thin strip. Uh -huh. So we're gonna wanna align them like that. So these two are aligned, and we wanna tape the bottom. Make sure they align. Oop. Most likely you want to start at the top, you take the top like that, and you align them, and make sure they're aligned, and then you hold this part right there, and if you want extra support, another piece, and then another piece, and another piece, you want more support. There's your actual base. <coughs> Some people put hole, like little holes at the bottom of the top, I don't know why, maybe for so your hands don't get all sweaty, probably, but I don't do that, and it works perfectly fine. <sighs> My hands don't get sweaty. Anyways, so now we're going to make the little face. Like, let me go. So, so first, you're gonna want to start out because if this is your first time drawing a dragon, then go f uh, go find a tutorial first because I'm not the best at tutorials on how to draw stuff. So yeah, you go find a tutorial on how to draw a dragon head, and then you should be good to go. So first, you're gonna wanna take your base like this, and you're gonna wanna put it on flat. You wanna open the jaw a little bit. You're gonna wanna wanna trace the top part. some of the extra little marks that you have around here and then this is like what you have like this is the space that you have to make the base so right now we're going to make a like a sort of a long base or not face face kind of like 
flares, how it like curves down and it goes kind of long out. At first I didn't really like her, but now I love her, so yeah. And yeah. So yeah. Um into drawing. It's just her face keeps coming off for some reason. Okay. Anyways. So we're going to make that like kind of uh, curve just now right there. You can add a little spike if you want to but I'm not. <coughs> Not, I'm not doing both sides, but if you were doing both sides, here, I could show you. You could take your paper with your, like, design on it. You could bring it over to, like, a window or just, like, put a light underneath the second piece of paper. So you put the first piece of paper on here, do that, and then put another piece of paper on there, and then trace it. As you can see, you can see it through like that. So here, it was kind of messy. So. And now we're gonna draw the actual dragon. So. gonna make a line here like that right above almost the end of it yeah so we want to start at the end and go like oh well, yeah like almost to your halfway point we want to make a little indent like that and you can make it longer I'm probably not gonna I'm probably not going to use this dragon. Probably only for the uh, little short that I'm going to make. <coughs> so there's that part. And then you're going to want to just, however you want it, you could do the axe, which is like that. Or you could do a regular round of snout that but for now I'm just gonna do the square ish snout like that ears and horns are optional but the front I'm gonna make a how to I'm just gonna show you how to make them because I make the ears and horns for them so and I'm gonna make one of that like a little curved line. And then there you go. And then you want to erase the little markings for the uh, thing. As you can faintly see. Oh, geez. On a flare right there. That little line right there. That's... Are you okay, Zal? Because that side is wind on your side. Okay, you're fine. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Another repair. Ugh. Okay. Let me fix this. Now, don't fall again, please. We're good, we're good. Right on, I'm gonna erase the lines. i give you a little bit of time to erase them both. So there you go. 
And then how I make eyes, um, I just make a little curve like that, put a line and then put the pupil however you want it. But um, that's how to make those eyes. But uh, since we're doing a design for flare, like like it, we're gonna do the eyes like that too. I might make this like her cousin or something, make it water because she's fire. So you're gonna wanna make, <coughs> make sure you can see. You gotta zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make it like a curved line, and make it go out. Um, line like that and make it kind of curve down. Make it up. Don't want the end one too long. That'll still look weird. And then end it off like that. That eye is way too big, so just gonna. So, Flair is a boy. I think I called him her. But Flair is, in fact, a boy. So, I'm gonna make it like a just color in the end right here. And then I could probably make it like cousin, sister, cousin, sister, or something like that. Oh, this could be his wife if I wanted to. So, yeah. This kind of design is similar to the 100k dragon, but it's not the 100k dragon because I wouldn't be showing you guys her. I'm going to make like the kind of pools, I, you could say, of water. Or like splashes or something. Just like. Maybe I could put a lily pad in there, like a little lake, a little pond, like a little circle. Uh, I'm probably going to use her now, since she's a descendant of Flair. Um, so, you could make your own design, but if you do copy, that's okay, it doesn't matter I made this for a tutorial video so you can copy but I'd say not to please but it's fine if you do and then I'm gonna make it like a little backdrop Go. Here's the eye. Now I'm gonna make like some more little drippy drippies. And then I'll grab a base real quick. And then I'm gonna do something like this. Now, 
then move on to the horns. I'm going to make the horns kind of similar. Except not at the same time. Just kind of touch that. Okay, so we have this part. So right now, now we're gonna make the ears, and then we can start cutting. You can color it if you want. I don't really do colors, so yeah. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna make a line, and I'm gonna make like a little curve, or just. I'm gonna make little, little like bubbles and then go up. There you go. Two. Let's take the ones and ears and one face and the ones. So now we wanna cut them out. They're not folding yet. You're not gonna wanna cut them out fully yet. And then you're just gonna cut around them for now at least. It just makes it easier. You know what I mean? So wait, I have a trash can with me, so I'm just going to put it on the ground for now. So, yeah. So, here we go. First, we cut out. No, we're good. This could be his sister. His sister, I guess. Okay. 
gonna try to cut out the horns. You know what? Let me just cut out everything real quick. Oh, hee <laughs> hee. Let me just cut out everything real quick. Okay, so now I have everything cut out. Now, I'm going to sort of take them like that. And I'm going to trace right here. Take my glue and glue like that. I'm gonna glue on top. So, for this one, I'm not gonna trace because. Yeah. I'm just gonna guess these out. Oh, yeah. And now, I'm gonna use the base. And I'm gonna put glue on. Your eyes are kind of high up, but that's fine. Not everyone's perfect. So, just gonna add something real quick. Um, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you liked it, and hope you have a good time on it. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye!